November 17, 1272, Henry III is dead. His son Edward I takes the throne as King of England and Gascony. Normandy, being lost to the French, becomes separate from England making it the first independent English state since 1066. Shortly after his coordination, Edward begins reforming common law. However, not long after, he would invade Scotland under his son Edward of Carnarvon, who had married the heir to the Scottish throne Margaret, Maid of Norway. While traveling to Scotland, Margaret died in the Orkney Islands. Thirteen nobles, John Balliol, Robert de Bruce, John Hastings, Floris V of Holland, John Comyn, Nicholas de Soles, Patrick Galafi, William de Rose, William de Vesky, Patrick Dunbar, Roger de Mandeville, Robert de Pinkney, and Eric II of Norway all claimed to be the legitimate heir to Alexander III of Scotland. The nobles asked Edward I to intervene, however he instead decided to claim Scotland for himself. He took every Scottish castle which put the kingdom under his control. Despite this, Edward appointed John Balliol as King of Scotland, however he was regarded as a vassal which was denied after he set for relations with the French. Edward then fully took control of Scotland in 1296 and denounced John. The next year revolts under William Wallace and Andrew de Moray would pursue, most notably at the Battle of Stirling Bridge until Wallace was hanged by Edward in 1305. For about a year, the rebellion halted until Robert de Bruce, grandson of the claimant Robert had killed the popular John Comyn in a meeting. This sparked a second rebellion with Robert being coordinated king at Scone. He was driven from the mainland after the defeat at Methven but returned in 1307 where he defeated the English at the Battle of Loudon Hill. Brander Pass, Roxburgh Castle and Edinburgh Castle soon followed. Robert then declared independence and sent the Earl of Moray Thomas Randolph to meet with the Pope whom he persuaded to support them in 1320. Meanwhile, the new King of England, Edward II, had lost nearly all of Scotland. However, he had other problems ahead of him. Edward had a friend named Gaveston, the son of a knight. It is said he and Edward had sexual relations, which is likely agreed upon by historians. Years before, Edward I exiled him to Gascony for uncertain reasons. When Gaveston returned from exile following Edward II's coordination, he was accused of stealing royal funds as well as Edward's wife Isabella's wedding presents. In April of 1308, the Parliament, along with the Kingdom of France, had agreed of exiling Gaveston, which angered Edward and resisted. He later agreed following excommunication where he sent him to first Aquitaine and later Dublin. In 1309, Edward and Parliament had reached an agreement and allowed Gaveston to return to England. This did not last and the barons, named Ordiners, stripped Gaveston of his positions while he and Edward were in Scotland and exiled him out of all of Edward's domains. When he returned once more to York, he attempted to escape to Scotland where he stayed at Scarborough but was laid siege by the barons under Edward's cousin, the Earl of Lancaster. He was then accused of stealing coins and gems from Edward and was executed on the 18th of June, 1312. In 1322, Lancaster, being enemies with the Dispenser family, mobilized an army and captured much of their land. The Dispensers who expanded their influence in Wales were supported by King Edward. Being a close ally, he retaliated and civil war broke out. The two armies met at Burton-on-Trent. However, Lancaster retreated without a fight and was captured during the Battle of Boroughbridge, where he was then executed for treason. His supporters were also punished by a series of fines, which allowed Edward to campaign against Scotland. This proved to be a failure when deep in Scottish territory, the army ran out of food and was forced out following a series of Scottish raids. Edward then officially recognized Robert de Bruce as king and signed a truce with him so he could handle his brother and King of France Charles, who unexpectedly invaded Gascony in 1324. In 1326, Edward's wife Isabella was caught in her relationship with the exiled Roger Mort. The couple later invaded England and authority collapsed. London was plunged into chaos when Isabella and Mortimer later took control. 